Alright. See how it sounds. I haven't ridden this in a while and it ain't like my 1000, I'll tell you that much. Alright, here we are again. You can hear me talking kinda. Yeah, something happened with the helmet and the audio just wasn't recording. So, here we are. Anyways, it's been a couple of days. I have plenty of videos to make. I just haven't been recording a lot recently. My hand actually has been hurting a lot. So I haven't been going out as much. Matter of fact, I think like the last week, I really didn't go anywhere. I went to like one bike night and it was just a fell, like no one ever came out. We got our license plate coming in. And that should be here in today actually. And other than that, I mean, everything's going pretty good. I learned a lot about my um, Honda CBR. Apparently, there's differences between the US and EU version. And I'll make a, a, a video detailing that and how I took care of it. But basically, the ECU in the US is tuned down about 20 horsepower roughly and on the EU version it's not tuned down at all I guess it's the uh, I don't even know what to call it like the EPA versus whatever the Euro um, equivalent it is I think they're like Euro 4 or 5 who knows anyways so here in America, they tune the shit down out of ours, and they actually put off these, like, block-off plates inside the air intakes, so you're getting 66% of the air when you're supposed to be getting 100, so you're losing, like, 33, 34%. So, and that's on both sides, they put these block-off plates, so that kind of doesn't help either. Anyways, that being said... I recorded a bunch related to that on how to take out the side panels and how to remove those block off plates and that's just to let the air come in you know there's air intakes on the right and left side of that bike and I'll, I'll do a full video on this but basically they sell these like rubber gasket things that prevent like 30% of the air, almost 40, from coming in. And that's just a disaster. But not only that, like, the stock tuning of the bike here in America is tuned so far down. You're missing, like, all your mid range, and it makes the bike kind of like, for one, shifting from first gear into second you almost always hit the neutral and from second down to first you also hit the neutral so there's like false neutrals is what I call it those happen a lot and that's directly related to the tuning also check this idiot out illegal left turn there I'm coming over here to Walmart to grab a uh Oh, I was trying to fix my mic situation. That's right. I ended up just buying a new my, uh, lab mic. In a lot of the newer videos, you probably actually hear that one. This is one of the older ones. Anyways, so there's a lot going on. I've been kind of busy. How do y'all think the 650 sounds? 
It really seems like the way it's set up right now is just like perfect for it. I'm actually taking the power commander like out of this bike because I don't have anybody to mm -hmm. actually dyno tune it to get it right. And even if they were going to, right, if I can do it. I'd rather them go for the ECU tune. Every time. What's up? Huh? That's just a 2020? Oh shit. That's my slow bike. Yeah. Just got on my van right now. The van, it's a pretty nice bike. What year is it? 2020 Yeah. Beautiful. Pretty much did everything I can do to it now. I just need to fucking... <laughs> it's a slow one. I swear. Every time. People like them. It's gonna be sketched out when someone's fucking driving up here and looking at your shit. He's like taking pictures of it. It's like, it looks cool, but it ain't as cool as you think it is. That's a little cool, I guess. Let's try like. Oh, you wanna load it up and steal it? Do me a favor. It looks like a good bike, you know? That's one thing I'll tell you about fucking motorcycles in general. If you go and commute and do everything that I do, Everybody's gonna stop and look at your bike. It never fucking fails. There's somebody out here looking and touching and sitting on your shit. You gotta be like, get the fuck off my shit. You can be respectful, but like, fuck. You know, I don't jump in people's cars, you know? Like, man, this thing feels awesome. Like, <laughs> it's based on personal property, blah, blah, blah. You don't wanna be in dealing with any of that shit. It's super bright today, guys. Um, as for usual, though, we're gonna get out and get some rides in. We're gonna make some videos. I got about, like, four videos to make today, and I'll probably post. Have them all set up to release once a day. Anyways, here we go again. Yeah, so I've noticed pretty much anywhere I go and I park my bike, I come back and someone's like either on it or taking pictures of it. And it's just like, man, get off my stuff. And I did make an interesting argument, I guess. You know, you wouldn't go and sit in someone's car while they're not there. So why would you go sit on someone's motorcycle? Which is basically the same thing. I mean, people don't really think, right? It's like you drop that thing, it's damn near total just from a drop. Ridiculous. It's so expensive. I mean, you can drop this bike and like literally do like three, four thousand damage just from a stationary drop. That's crazy. I'm yeah, sorry for the wind, but whenever I turn my head and it just catches. So we have uh, plenty of videos to make here. I'm going to release this one right away and I'm going to try to make another one to have it set up to go out tomorrow. I need to make up for lost time here. My first goal has been and still is to hit a thousand videos. And start working on getting my subscriber count up. I think I may start streaming again. I used to stream on Twitch, so I might start doing that again. We'll have to determine a decent schedule. But I definitely want to start expanding on the gaming related stuff. 
I don't really have a whole lot going on right now, so... That'll definitely have to be the first thing to do. I'll tell you one thing. The suspension is not set up right for me on the 650, but it still is so much more smooth than any, like, super sport, because it's not as aggressive and stiff. Like, Jesus, sometimes you just, like, hit anything and you're just, like, spinaling yourself. You can see me here adjusting the uh, play of the clutch lever. I was trying to set it up for wheelies. That way, whenever I go back out and practice. And I actually have videos of number three. I don't know if I ever posted the video. If I didn't, I'll make it. And we'll get that one running here soon, too. Anyways, if y'all made it this far, y'all are awesome. And I'll definitely see y'all in the next one.